let me give you a quick introduction to the dot product. So for the dot product, the equation looks like this. A dot B. Okay, vectors dot product. This is pronounced as vector A dot vector B. It is different from arithmetic multiplication. Okay, so because in vectors, we cannot take one vector, multiply by another vector. And A dot B is defined as modulus of A, modulus of B, cosine theta. You can very quickly take a look at Achievers TV. And on the Achievers TV, if you were to click this yellow color box, you will be able to see the derivation of how this equation came about. It is actually derived through using cosine rule being applied to a three-dimensional space for vectors. So that aside, you let's see how we can work and understand very quickly about this dot product. So for this angle theta over here, we are defining this angle theta as the angle that is between two vectors A and B. But to be even more specific, if I have a vector A as this, if I have a vector B as this, because there can be two possible angles that represent the angle that is between this vector A and B. One is the acute angle here, the other one is going to be the reflex angle. So in vectors, just to reduce any confusion, in our syllabus, we will always reject all the reflex angle, which means that although I have two options, I'm going to go for this to represent angle theta. And theta is defined as the angle that is between two converging or two diverging vectors. So these are two vectors that are diverging from a point. So angle theta is the angle that is between these two diverging and if let's say I have an, a, vector A as this and vector B, let's say it is this. So both are converging to this point. So angle theta is going to be this. Or if I have one vector that is diverging from this point and another vector that is pointing towards converging to this point, where is the angle theta? What I have to do is to either shift vector B or shift vector A. Let's say I choose to shoot shift vector B. So if I were to shift vector B here, that means they are both diverging from this point. The angle theta is going to be defined as this angle here. And let us try to see how this can be calculated by assigning some values to vectors A and B. I'm going to make use of this. Okay, we have actually an example here. I'm going to just make use of A and B to be taking up the value of the column vectors that are given here. So let's say vector A.